Hello everyone, welcome to Hoffman Engineering. Today, I will introduce the basic structure of a gasketed plate heat exchanger. On the top, we have a carrying bar, which provides structure support for the plates. As you can see, the plate will be attached to the bar, so it could be held vertically and also preventing horizontal movements. There is also a guide bar at the bottom to further stabilize the plates. Support column is used to provide structure for the entire machine, and there is one on each side. Then we have the movable cover attached right after the last plates from the right. Movable cover is used to press the plates together to ensure the gaskets on the plates are sealed with one another, preventing any leak. There will be explained with more detail in later videos. The movable cover and console release pressing force on the plates needs to be detached in case of a maintenance. Then we have the fixed cover. The fixed cover is fixed in position in order for the movable cover to press place towards the fixed cover. Next, we have inlets and outlets connections. For example, cold water can enter one inlet from the bottom and after traveling through a set of plates, exiting at the top, while hot water can enter the inlets from the top and after traveling through another set of plates, exiting at the bottom. More detail will be provided in later videos. Lastly, we have plates, which are very important because heat exchanging is done through hot water and cold water traveling adjacent plates. This is the basic structure of a gasketed plate heat exchanger. In the next video, we will look at why plates has different patterns on them and how to choose between different patterns in different scenarios involving different mediums. Thanks for watching and see you next time.